Hi, welcome to another episode of Yoga for Wellness. I'm Christine, and today we're going to slow it down, and we're going to release and relax. A lot of the muscles here in the upper body. So if you have any tech neck or if you've been hunching over your computers or sitting in the couches, watching TV during the social distancing, I think you'll really enjoy this class. The, we will be moving through small, gentle movement patterns. And when I mean small, I mean slow, like the slow motion option on the cell phone. And our, we'll be limiting our range of motion, so you'll be moving with minimal effort. So very slowly to the left, very slowly to the right. And we'll be exploring uh, our body awareness, connecting maybe the connection of our pelvis and the jaw, or the muscles in the eyes, with the muscles behind the head. We'll be doing a little vagus nerve stimulation, but actually, I'll put a little information in the notes if you're interested in exploring more. Let's just get started and enjoy this moment and relax. I have Carl here to help. And he's going to be demonstrating. Hi, John. Hi. Hi. We're going to begin, if you have a prop, place it on the prop, whether it's a block like Carl has, or maybe a little cushion from the chair or a folded blanket, but we want to raise the hips higher than the knees. We also, to prepare, either lie directly, once we are lying, you'll be lying directly on the carpets or place a blanket on top of the yoga mat. And for anyone that it's a little difficult to get down on the ground, you can actually do this sequence on your bed. Just remove the pillow so you have a nice flat surface. We're going to begin bringing your left heel into the midline, just how Carl has, and then the right heel in front of the ankle. So hips are higher than the, the knees there. Before we lie on the ground, we're just going to do a little range of motion test. It's very important to make sure the hips and the shoulders stay neutral, stay straight, and we're only moving the head and neck. Inhale here, and then gently exhale, turning the head and neck over to the right. So you kind of have gone far as you can. And then take a little spot. It might be an imaginary spot on the wall. Um, in Carl's case, it's obviously he could see a tree branch or a flower. But take, take note, and this doesn't have to be exact. If you're in your bedroom, you can say, oh, I'm about two feet away from the light switch. But take note how far you turn, and then gently come back to center. Inhale, sit up a little bit taller, and then gently exhale, moving over to the other side. Make sure keeping the shoulders and the hips straight, and then finding your other spot on the wall. Might be a picture, might be an object, or maybe you have to guesstimate. Once you've found your spot, and slowly come back to center. Remove the blocker of prop that you have. Just bring it to the side. We won't use it again till the end. And slowly make your way down onto your back any way you'd like. So the legs are nice and long. Your arms are beside you, palms up. We're going to begin. Taking a moment to arrive on your mat. Bring your awareness to the back body. As I ask these questions, see if you can feel or sense the parts of the body I'm mentioning. Can you feel the part of your spine that's in between the shoulder blades? Can you sense how far away from the floor your shoulder blades are? Maybe they feel like they're drooping out to the sides, a little closer to the floor. Maybe they feel kind of tight next to each other. One might feel higher than the other, and that's pretty common. It really just depends on how you slept the day before, 
for what you carried on your shoulder. Maybe it feels like one big block. That's okay too. You kind of want to learn what we're starting with. And bring your awareness to your breathing into the back of your heart. If you haven't already, begin to breathe in and out through the nose. And even though you're exhaling out of the nose, imagine that you're exhaling out of a little tiny straw that's about three feet long. You're gently inhaling through the nose and then gently exhaling through the nose and imagining it slowly going out through the teeny tiny straw. It's very, very long. As you continue to breathe, see if you can feel the breath moving way into the back of your lungs and gently pressing into the floor. And without straining or forcing, maybe you feel the breath pressing into the floor. And maybe you don't. But just see what you feel. Bring the hands on each side of the ribcage, spreading the fingers wide. Continue to inhale and exhale here. As you inhale, feel the belly rise, moving to the ribcage, to the diaphragm. Maybe you feel it rise into the fingertips, underneath your palms of the hands. And as you gently exhale, it slowly deflates under the fingers. Continue here at your own breath print. As you continue breathing, maybe think of the diaphragm as a balloon or a cylinder. And I tend to think of it as there's a front, the left, the right, and the back. So your hands on the, the, are on the sides and the left and the right, and your floor is into the back. And see if, as you breathe, if you can breathe into all four parts, front, left, right, and back into the as you continue to ground, I invite you to drop into your heart space. And what I mean by that is an automatic feeling of love. What creates an automatic sensation of love for you? You don't even have to think about it. Maybe it's a favorite pet, a loved one, Maybe no one's there and maybe it's your happy place. Whatever it is, as you continue to inhale and exhale, see if you can breathe into this thought and let this automatic feeling of love just wash all over you. Each time you inhale, I think of how you feel. Maybe you feel comforted, maybe you feel safe, maybe you feel warm. Maybe this feeling of love gets you excited, empowered, you feel creative. You just continue to get lost in your thoughts as you inhale and exhale. Maybe take a mental snapshot of this feeling because we're going to be coming back to it as we continue to breathe throughout class. Gently take your two fingers closest to your thumb and slowly bring them to the point that's at the base of the earlobe where your jaw meets the earlobe, right at the bottom there. And slowly begin to massage in circular motion Going in one direction and then slowly going in the other. And your jaw might have naturally opened. And if it did, just kind of go with that. 
Now imagine that you're a young child and you scored the biggest piece of gum you've ever seen in your life. And the only way you can chew it is that you need to chew in slow motion, opening your jaw in different ways, moving it around really, really slowly. Gently release your hands and bring them to the side. And see if you can leave a little space in between the jaw and slowly move your jaw from side to side. Like you have nowhere to go and nothing to do. And then gently allow the bottom of the jaw to hang, leaving a little space in between the teeth. And as we continue here, remember we're using minimal effort in all our movements. We're going to be gently rolling and sliding different body parts, and we're not going to extremes. So I'd like you to imagine yourself like you're in that slow motion video that's on the cell phones. We're going to gently begin with the head to bring the awareness to the back of your head that's connected to the blanket right now. You probably feel that little bony bone right in the middle of the head. And I invite you to close the eyes through most of this work, unless I cue otherwise. And slowly, gently roll your head over to the right, keeping your head nice and heavy. Slowly coming back to center and then gently to the other side. Remember, we're probably going like 25% in one direction and 25% in the other. And seeing if we can naturally inhale and exhale where it feels natural, marrying the movement to follow the breath. Couple more times. Everything else is relaxed. There's minimal muscle engagement, if any at all. And once you've kind of evened yourself out, meet me back in the middle. Taking your time. Once you meet me back in the middle, open the eyes and look towards the sky or the ceiling. This next exercise, we're only moving the eyes. So the head, the neck, the shoulders, the rest of the body will remain motionless and relaxed. Inhale here, gently move your eyes looking over to the left. Slowly coming back to center and gently over to the right. And continue at your own pace. Remember you're moving in slow motion. Maybe even pretend that you're drawing a little line all the way over to one side, all the way over to the other side. And even though we're using the eyes, we're doing small, Gentle movements, not going to extremes, and moving in slow motion. Very, very slowly. Once you've evened out the two sides, meet me back in the middle, eyes facing the sky or ceiling. We're going to do one more eye exercise here. Take a nice inhale here, and then gently, slowly look down towards your chin or heart. Slowly come back up to center, and gently look towards the top of the skull. Not moving the head and neck, only keeping the eyes. It's very easy to want to move and natural to want to move the head and neck. Only the eyeballs. And we're going very, very slowly. 
You might even imagine that you're a little tortoise and you're going really slow all the way down towards the chin or heart, slowly back to the middle, and then up towards the skull. A couple more times here. When you feel like you're about even, meet me in the middle. Close the eyes now. With the hands by the sides, we're going to flip the palms up. Stay with legs bent if that feels comfortable. For any reason, if you have a little back discomfort, you're welcome to bring the feet as wide as the mat and then allow the knees to drop in as an alternative. If not, then just leave the legs straight. There's no back challenges. We're going to begin on the right side. But then you're going to keep track yourself and just even out the sides as we continue through the sequence. Starting on the right, drag the top of the shoulder towards your waist, reaching through the fingertips. Gently, slowly slide the shoulder blade back to neutral. Just a very small movement. Sliding the shoulder blade down along the blanket, opening up the hand, reaching through the fingers. And then gently, slowly coming back to neutral. And you're going to alternate from side to side, inhaling and exhaling where it feels comfortable. We'll be inhaling in one direction and then exhaling in the other. Your palms are up. You're sliding the shoulder and arm along the blanket. And then gently coming back to neutral when the shoulder is at shoulder height. And a couple more times here. And once you've evened out, just pause in the middle. We're going to add the roll of the head, and remember the roll is really small. The roll of the head is going to go in the same direction as the slide of the shoulder. Beginning here, slide the shoulder down and gently roll the head in the same direction. And then slowly come back to neutral with head and shoulder and then go to the other side. So a very small range of motion. Remember, minimal effort. We're never going to extreme. Hopefully you have minimal, if any, muscle engagement. Inhaling where it feels comfortable in one direction. Exhaling in the other. Let's do maybe one more time on each side. Remembering that our breath is the window to our nervous system. So the more proficient we come to find a little steadiness and ease in the breath, the more accessible will have a release in the areas that are tense in our body. And once we're back to middle, we're going to bend the knees, feet flat on the floor, and the knees and feet are hip width apart. The next movement here, we're going to be moving the pelvis. And we're going to slowly begin here, arching your back, and then as we exhale, releasing the low back to the floor without pressing it into the floor. So it's a nice release. Inhale on the arch if that comes natural. And then gently exhale as you release. It's a very small movement. This is an exploration of you feeling what it feels like to move in your body. So keeping the eyes closed arching your back so it's in the shape of a rainbow, and 
and then releasing the low back to the floor. A couple more times here. Very small movement. We're going to be adding the chin. We're going to be rolling our head forward and back. The chin will move towards the chest when we arch the back. When you release the back, the chin will gently lift towards the sky. So chin to chest as we arch the back. And then gently release the back as chin lifts towards the sky. Continue here. And remember, we're not lifting up the head. We're gently massaging the head as we're rolling forward and back. Correlating with your pelvic pose. And then pause here for a moment. Bring the arms out to the side to a T with your palms up. We're going to add shoulder rotation. Before you begin, I'll explain we're rolling the shoulders forward and then palms will face down. And then uh, we're rolling the shoulders back and palms will face up. Now we're going to add that to your pelvic tilt and your chin. Beginning now, arch your back, roll the shoulders forward, chin towards chest. Release the low back to the floor, roll the shoulders back, chin lifts towards the sky. Arch the back, chin to chest, roll the shoulders forward. Release the back, roll the shoulders back, chin lifts to the sky. Continue here, nice and slow, inhaling and exhaling where it feels comfortable, moving like you're in a slow motion video. And if adding three movements together is a little too much, remember the focus is just ex experiencing what it feels like to move in the body. So maybe pick two movements, maybe just pick one. But continue to move whatever feels good for you. Inhaling and exhaling in slow motion, small little movement pattern, going at your own pace. And finish up your last cycle here. And then relax. Bringing your legs long, flat on the mat. We're going to bring our arms, reaching towards the sky, fingertips towards the sky, palms facing each other, arms straight. It's very natural to lift the shoulders a little up from the floor. If you did, just do a little exhale and release the shoulder blades down to the ground, but keeping the arms straight. Now the shoulders are meant to move independently of our spine and rib cage. However, a lot of times they'll get basically stuck. And when this happens and you're unable to move the shoulders, that our neck pretty much takes the blunt of it. And this happens a lot when we're sitting in our chairs at our desks all day. We're going to inhale here. Bringing our shoulder blades away from the midline, reaching towards the sky. And then on the exhale, gently draw the shoulder blades towards your spine as you release them to the floor. Inhale, spread the shoulder blades away like the wings of a bird. Exhale, drag your shoulder blades towards the midline, towards your spine. Continue here a couple more times at your own pace. Seeing if you can inhale fully and softly and exhale fully and softly. And protractions on the way up, retractions on the way down. 
Once you've completed your last retraction, gently bring, intertwine the hands and bring them behind, supporting your head and neck, elbows out to the side. And consciously think of your back body. Think about the shoulder blades into the mat. You're kind of burrowing your head into this little cradle you made with your hands. And imagine you're maybe lying on the beach you're lying in a field, you're really comfortable, you're looking up at the sky, you're just watching the clouds go by. This last exercise, we're going to use the eyes again. So the eyes will be open, but we don't want any movement with the rest of the body. So just take a moment to kind of settle in, kind of bury your head into the fingers. Take a nice swallow here before we begin. We're going to look straight up at the ceiling. Inhale here. And then exhale just the eyeballs. Both of them slowly move over to the right as far as you can. And then you're going to hold that position. So you're holding those eyes over to the right. And you're going to stay here till you sigh, swallow or yawn. And it might take 10 seconds. It might take 30. I'm going to give everybody 60 seconds. And even though you're holding the eyeballs over to the right, we don't want to go to an extreme, right? We don't want to stress anything. So we're just looking over to the right, holding the gaze till we yawn, sigh, or swallow. And if you've already done one of those three actions, just gently stare towards the sky or ceiling until we're ready to go to the other side. And everyone release the eyes back to the middle. And if you didn't get one of those reactions, no worries. This is something to kind of take note and you can learn from and it'll eventually happen. I think Carl did a great yawn there. <laughs> now everyone swallow again, take a nice swallow, look straight at the sky, take a nice inhale here. On the exhale, only the eyeballs look <laughs> over to the left. Once you've looked over to the left, hold your gaze there to yawn, sigh, or swallow. And once again, keeping the gaze. Even though we're looking over, we don't want to strain the eyeballs. We're just gently looking over to the left, holding the gaze. And once you yawn, Sigh or swallow, relax, and just look at the sky or ceiling until the full 60 seconds are up. And everyone release back to the middle. Slowly close the eyes. Bring the arms back by your sides, palms up. And let's bring our attention back to the back body. Thinking about everything from the waist to the crown of the head that's on the back that's attached to the blanket or floor. Kind of check in and see what you sense. Maybe if one shoulder blade was higher than the other, see if they feel a little more even. Maybe you have a sense of widening across the back or mid back. Maybe you just feel flatter to the floor. And that's a little indication of widening as well. You just kind of sense what you feel. There's no really right or wrong. We're just exploring the body. Let's 
see if we can take a collective inhale here. And as we inhale without straining or forcing, see if we can send the breath to the back of the lungs, the back of the heart, and gently into the floor. So move through a couple of two, three, four breath cycles, seeing if it's any easier to breathe in that cylinder, front, left, right, and back, and see if it's a little more accessible to send the breath to the back body. you haven't been connecting to the heart space as you've been breathing through our class see if you can reconnect now drawing in all the senses all the feelings everything positive just dropping in that automatic feeling of love inhale your knees into your chest and give yourself a little hug. Gently rock from side to side, massaging the low back. And slowly roll over to the side of your choice and pause. I'd like you to move as slow as you've been moving throughout the session. See if you can drag your head and neck up last by gently pressing the hand into the earth and gently coming to seat to sit on the prop. And then we're just going to replace the cross, bringing your right heel in first and then the left. Sitting up nice and tall, hands on the, on the thighs. Remember the hips and the shoulders stay straight. Take a nice inhale here, tall spine, and gently exhale over to the right. And see if you can find that spot on the wall, or if you're outside, that beautiful branch. See if your head went a little further. Maybe it stayed the same, maybe it went way behind. And then gently come back to the middle. Remember hips and shoulders stay squared. Inhale here. Exhale, gently turn the head and neck over to the left. And looking to see where you end up this time. And once you found your spot or a new spot, Slowly come back to the middle. Closing the eyes, bring the left hand on the heart, the right hand on top. And let's just drop into our heart space one more time. Knowing that you can come here anytime you want, any place. Just take a couple breaths, drop into this beautiful feeling of love. Anytime you need some peace and calm. Bring the hands together at heart center. Eyes closed. And let's thank ourselves for coming on the mat today. Hopefully we feel that sense of release and relaxation. And a little restoration. It's truly a pleasure guiding you today. Namaste. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, how do you feel? Do some organic movement. Just kind of move to the left, to the right. Let's see. Yeah, hopefully we have a nice opening here. I'm more open on this side. Than on that side? All right.